just have you standing in the grill room and be reflecting. <laughs> That's where this came from, is uh, the grow store. You buy it on the roll. My It's running fun. She's a celebrity after her. I want your autograph, Miss Running Fun. Hey, hey, Miss Running Fun. Don't shun me. Why must you hate what you don't understand? Okay, I'm gonna over here and advocate. Uh, you grab that camera, Running Fun. I'm getting up here with my fun. <laughs> with cannabis unless they're using other substances and it's the other substances that lead their lives down the drain so let's talk about the war on drugs for a second why are we at war with our citizens why was last year alone nearly two million people arrested for marijuana in this country why? Why are people being separated from their loved ones, branded as criminals, denied jobs, public assistance, and the ability to vote? Why? So that they can get those resources, they can take your property, and they can put it into their big pile of money that lets them go out and buy big toys for big boys. Um, you can't ignore the fact that, that our society is a process of the prison industrial complex. That prosecutors, private prisons, construction for private prisons, corrections, police, government agencies, and criminal justice systems are institutionalized and that they do not want to change. Their very existence 
resistance depends on the fact that they don't want to change. So what do they do? They throw up the specter of reefer madness and they think and they try to make everybody believe that we're all going to go insane and start shooting each other up. Well, we've been here in Oregon. The law has been here in Oregon for 11 years and the sky still hasn't fallen. That it's your responsibility to improve the quality of your life, and how you do that is you tell the truth. Do not let the irrational, delusional stereotypes that have been amazingly been able to take care of our society and keep this herb criminalized for over seven decades, you need to tell the truth. Wherever you're at, no matter who you hear or what they say, if they're speaking reefer madness, madness, because that's what it is, you tell them the truth. You tell your friends, you tell your family, you tell the people in your church, your school, wherever, whenever, you just say no. Thank you. Say yes to me. Another infiltration of the medical marijuana movement. Uh, I'm lining them up. As you can see, I got my new press pass, and I'm sure I'll fit right in with their wacko counterculture, possibly communist. Some of these are communists who came all the way in from Lost Creek. I'm quite sure they're communists.